Hi, this is Alan of ICT Billet. Today we're going to be adding this timing chain um, guide here on an LS engine. So this is an iron truck block engine, which on these, there's no provisions on the Gen 3 blocks to add this um, chain guide here. So we're going to be adding these two holes in the block. Um, this timing chain guide here is a AC Del code number there. And do that we're going to be using our tool here it's a drill guide that we made just for this so it's going to bolt here where the cam goes we're going to bolt it down and then drill right through it so ideally you're going to have your engine block completely empty not have the internals in it when you do this in case you drill too deep or something you don't want to hit the crank so we're going to pretend that uh that's already out but not drill it too deep anyways so let's go ahead and take a look at this here so first I'm going to measure my block here to the back side, which on our block here, it's about, about 0.95 of an inch. So if we take that and then measure here the thickness of this plate, uh, about a little over 300, 322, somewhere in there. So we're just going to add kind of that length there to our drill bit. So let's kind of Hold this here. I'm going to mark it so I don't go too deep on it. So I'm just going to hold my uh, scale here next to it. I'm just going to mark the drill bit. That way I have a guide when I'm drilling it in there so I know how far I've went in the block. So check that one more time. Looks good. So go ahead and install our tool here. Put the three bolts in that came with the tool. Make sure we get them all three kind of evenly tied. That way it centers itself where it's supposed to go. Okay, now we have their location here. If you did this like on an LS1 uh, aluminum block, you'd be able to see this step here. It starts kind of running down just inside the hole. So you should still be able to drill that out. Uh, the truck block, there's more than plenty of flat here, so it should drill fine. But even on the other block, it should work okay because the guide should keep it in place. So we're just gonna kind of hold our drill bit in here. And just kind of hold it. run it in to about where my tape line is and we'll go ahead and drill this other hole here. Take this guide back off here. Now we have our two holes in the block. I didn't come through the back, so that's good. Pause for a second. Okay, now we're gonna put a little bit of oil here on the end of this hole here. And we'll go and put a little bit on the drill. Ideally, you're going to do this by hand, but just to make it easy, we're just going to kind of run it in here with the drill. I like to live dangerously.
This drill bit that we're using here is a size H, and then the tap is an M8.125. So, so it's a standard M8 thread. Now you put your guide on here. That's just a Gen 4 uh, time and chain guide. Now we're going to put our time and chain guide on here. Uh, we'll get these started. Now it's complete. So that's all there is to it. Just uh, mark those holes and then drill them out with that H drill and the uh, M8 tap. So thanks for uh, joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time.